Not long now until the final match of the CV Tokyo 2020 European qualifications. Maria Schurzel is being interviewed by Dan from CV, so we thought it might be a nice opportunity to go behind the scenes and get an athlete's eye view of everything they see before they're going to take the court for the final time. After they come through that entrance, it's actually quite unremarkable to begin with. It's just a, just a corridor. Got Matt Rogers from CV here. Thank you very much, mate. Lovely job. As the week has progressed, these changing rooms have got emptier and emptier because, of course, now there is only two matches remaining. The day job for the Unley Sport Arena here in Appledorn is, in fact, mainly as a track cycling venue. So they're used to competitions with hundreds and hundreds of competitors. And, of course, it's used for municipal sports. In fact, if we look around the corner, they've closed the door now, but there's a local hockey league going on. So even though we've got two world-class teams in a world-class venue for Olympic qualification, there are still just regular people playing sport um, these are the changing rooms of course there were eight full at the start of the week Germany's is round the corner Turkey have just arrived I'm not going to open the door that's probably a bad idea but they're going through their final preparations there and sometimes there's strange preparations too we had a look in the Turkish dressing room yesterday and of all the songs they could have been playing they chose the Macarena so out of the corridor through the dressing rooms and now is where it gets interesting. If you take a look to the left and the right, this is the VIP area. I'm stood literally on the red carpet that is going to guide the players to the court and it's quiet at the moment. This is a chance for VIPs, for spectators, for the great and the good of volleyball to stand shoulder to shoulder with giants of the sport and give them a really warm welcome onto the court. Um, the great thing about a VIP area is if you hang around for long enough, you might actually get to chat to a VIP at which point I'm going to try and pull this man out of the conversation. Uh, sorry about that, you look very busy there, uh -huh. but uh, Baj, you've got another world-class event here. It's coming to an end. Netherlands yeah. done a fantastic job of hosting again. Uh, what are your thoughts of what you've seen this week? Well, of course, uh, hosting the event was uh, had the purpose to be a great facilitator for the Dutch team, not only for every team, but also for the Dutch team to make the crowd uh, a part of the dream to go to the Tokyo uh, Olympics. Uh, I'm sorry that the team didn't make it, but uh, I think, as you see, we're like one hour and a half before the game right now, and you still hear, you already hear the crowd uh, for, um, for the, the supporters for the uh, Germany-Turkey uh, final. Uh, we're going to make uh, another big uh, 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 final match today uh, uh, without the Dutch team. Um, and that's, that's for us, of course, that's not so good news, uh, but um, Let's make it a great uh, final, nevertheless. Well, it's shaping up to be a great final. Uh, the Olympic dream is something that's talked about a lot. You've yeah. lived it yourself. What do you think it'll mean to these two groups of players stepping out there this evening? Well, uh, for sure, one uh, team is entering heaven tonight. Uh, I, I remember the two times that we qualified was like winning the Olympics. I mean, going to the Olympics is like winning the Olympics. Um, and um, uh, there is for sure one one team uh, who has a big celebration tonight, uh, and you look forward for like the next seven or eight months preparing for the Olympics, uh, dreaming of the Olympics, dreaming what the possibilities are. So um, I wish two teams the best uh, and hope the best uh, will win. And um, they're going to celebrate for, for a whole night, I think. Yeah. Well, you mentioned the big celebration. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Germany or is it going to be Turkey? Uh, I was asked uh, like three times uh, this week uh, uh, to see who will win. And I was wrong all the time. So, <laughs> so I'm going to say one of the, to the two teams and made the best win. Okay. You're going to sit on the fence. Well, thank okay. you for your time. Okay, Enjoy the okay. game. Okay. It's going to be a thriller. You can get back to that conversation I interrupted. Baz van der Hall, one-time Olympic gold medalist, two-time Olympic MVP. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, we're going to stop here. We're out of the VIP area into where the match action really starts. Because to my left, there's the table there where the toss takes place. That's where we're going to see who serves first and which end the team are going to be then to my right I've already got my place booked here this is the mix zone where all of the world's media are going to get live reaction from the winners and the losers trust me some interviews are easier than others but we've got television networks there the online networks then right at the end we've got print journalism too you might be able to hear that as we step through we're getting closer to the arena because the noise goes up a level and already the atmosphere starts to change. I mentioned the venue's day job. We can take a good look at it because this 
is the actual track, the world famous velodrome track here at the Omni Sport Apple Dawn. They've had six day racing here, regular UCI world level events, and we're actually stood on some now. They've just dropped down this three meter section of track, which means that we can have a lovely corridor for the players to enter the court. Now, I'm one meter 90, so some of the players might have to duck to do that, but we enter underneath the stand and every step closer to the court that I take, it just feels more visceral, more real. And now there's no turning back. We enter through this curtain. We're actually going underneath the supporters. And the first thing they'll be greeted with is this huge permanent stand, a 4,000 seater, still so long until the first serve. But as you can see, the Turkish fans already out in full force. There's one little Dutch flag tucked there as well. So the home support is still very much behind this event. Come onto the court with me. We don't get the chance to do this very often, so we may as well make the most of it. They built three temporary stands. These spectators have got incredible seats. They'll be able to hear the action, see the action, possibly even smell the action too. We've got another Turkish flag up there. Not many Germans yet, but we're not that close to the German, sorry, we're not that far away from the German border, so expecting a great turnout from both sets of supporters. Onto the court, it's quite technical here. This is the first referee stand. They've got the best seat in the house. We've got a couple of microphones here. They're going to help us with the television coverage because we're going to hear everything the captains say in their discussions with the first referee. And trust me, there will be discussions. We've got a tablet up there so they can keep an eye on substitutions and the rotations. And then a screen where they will be the first to see any of the challenges. We've got Hawkeye here. If anything is even remotely close, we'll refer to that. The first referee sees it, then you'll see it wherever you're watching around the world. And there are big screens either side, so the crowd are going to see it too. So the court itself. The players make it look so easy, but then just for perspective, I've already mentioned my height. I'm about one meter 90 or six foot two in old money. If I reach up to the very top, I am just over the net tape. So when you see these players gliding high for spikes, for blocks, making it look so easy, that will give you a little bit of perspective. It feels incredible. There's no other way to talk about it. I mean, the match starts in an hour and a quarter, according to my watch, and already there's a real buzz about the place, the anticipation, the expectation. One of these teams is going to book a place in Tokyo. Germany haven't been to an Olympic Games since 2004. Turkey quali qualified in 2012, and that was through European qualification. Will history repeat itself? They've met once already. Germany, victorious 3-1 in the group stages. It bookends the tournament beautifully, and it's actually going to end on this very spot. The captain will be stood here, and they will be presented with the golden ticket to book the last Europe European place available in Tokyo 2020. Our coverage starts on Eurovolley TV at 5.15 p.m. The match starts at 5.30. You can watch it wherever you want in the world. I genuinely couldn't think of watching anything else this evening. It is Germany versus Turkey for a place at the Olympics. Eurovolley TV. We'll see you then.